I've, I've really noticed the difference with their breaks. I mean, as far as when Orcolo, he misses the one, but he gets a shot a lot. But he makes the wing ball and gets the two balls down there. Yeah, he spins this five in with heavy spin. It kind of, well, yeah. that one went straight in. Oh, yeah. Now that two is going to get up a little too much for a straight in. Now a, a little too much for a bank as well. That was a really good break. And a funny safety, too, really. Can he just roll on top of the three, bumping the two? That's that's touchy, it looks Super like. Super touchy, because you can see from the front angle. Let me see. Yeah, yeah, there you go. There we go. Yeah, you can see that the three is off the rail just Yeah, enough. that was good, though. Oh, okay. You can see right. this is touchy, yeah. Yeah. Uh, you kind of almost got to, like, just really hit it light. You're going to leave a very doable kick, most what likely. What do you think about going three rails off the two behind the four? Now the six is probably in the way, but. That's, you know, that's a doable thing also. I mean, there is a route there that does get you there. It's tough, that's though. That's a little aggressive. It just seems like. Yeah, no another reason. shot I like whenever it's laying right is just a little off here, I think, Joey. I think, anyways. Mm -hmm. yeah, or this, you can play the funny. two off the three where it goes fat to the rail and come around three yeah. rails. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's kind of maybe the correct route to get by, by the six as well. So. Yeah. Yeah, he immediately passed that. So we've had many rollouts that have been just like, you know, given up pretty quickly. Just tells you how tough the situation is. Shane didn't even debate about shooting at this. And I'll tell you, uh, this is a tricky he's pinned spot. himself a little bit he, here. I mean, he made it. I think this is a harder shot than what he had. Well, I think he, because of queuing, maybe. I mean, he's put himself now. He's got to go for a bank cross that's corner, I think. It's, that's got to be what he's at. That's the only thing he can be looking at. I mean, he's going to kiss into the three, maybe go into the eight, maybe he's a hair. A I don't know. It depends on the speed he hits it. But, I mean, I think he's got to go ahead and shoot. I would you know, go ahead and try to make it. Yeah, wow. That's all he could do. He got himself in that position. That's all he could do. I mean, otherwise he's taking on a shot that even, if, even though it's a safety, you think it's easier, but it's if it doesn't work, it doesn't work against these guys, and you're going to lose the game. What a shot he made there, though. God, that was a really good shot. That's got to go a little. Got enough. Oof. Got just enough. Not by much. <laughs> now he's on that funny little angle. He can't just spin it and easily get to the side rail. So he may go with the in a little inside here, a little right English. Yeah. Nice shot. Perfect speed on the cue ball. It makes it real easy to come forward. Well, so, good out for Orcola right there. Pretty pretty much needed. I mean, don't want Shane to go back up three games. Yeah, landed pretty near the rail there for kind of no reason. Not saying this is, you know. Kind of got up off it quick, huh? Just for no reason. I mean, yeah, like you said, don't make things harder than you have to, right? Yeah. So, uh, about 100 games to go for both players. <laughs> we got a long, I mean, this has been a long match already, and uh, we've got a lot to go. So. Yeah, I don't... Uh, Let's see here. We'll do some figuring real quick as soon as I can get my phone out. So they've only they've been playing three hours and seventeen minutes roughly, um, and they've played forty games. <clears throat> so that's right. It they've slowed down on their pace that they had earlier, and that's a little expected. They were a little fast in the first hour. They played seventeen games roughly, sixteen, seventeen games. Now they're right at about thirteen games uh, an hour. They slowed down their pace? Yeah, a little bit. And this is that shot you were talking about. Now, what's the two going to do? Got up there enough. Oh, oh I, I thought for sure it was going to get there. I think it's I think it's there. He's smiling a little bit, though. Man, oh, so he got there, but that two was really creeping up on him. I thought it was going to get way past it, and it, it, and it stalled a little bit. But maybe it may not be as easy as you think, though. Because I'm looking at this other angle, yeah, this, and that looks a little bit fuzzy. But I don't know. He might just be looking around at it. But. Well, this is one you might curve at if it's just a little bit. Or you yeah. could hop it. 
You could hop it pretty easy. He's definitely not, like, rolling out from here, I don't think. Well, I think he was either smirking because he barely got there or he barely didn't. <laughs> I would think, right? Yeah, it can't be much, though, yeah. to, right? I, mean, I think you're right, though. Just a touch, touch of a swerve. But, yeah, God, that's always the hardest shot in the side pocket. You know what I mean? Yeah, there's not much room. But I would think he would jump it before he would ever roll out or do something else. Uh, I really do. I don't it's think. It's got to just be awkward enough to where. Thing is, he's falling away where he's not going to get shape if he curves it or if he curves it, he should get shape probably. Unless yeah, he's going to go by the four and get hooked. That would be cold. But I'm thinking, like, like if you're saying jump it, because it looks like the angle would be for the one or the cue ball to come towards the four, which would leave him almost no shot on the two. Yeah, that's what Even I'm if saying. He yeah. It, if he, d he may not like to jump because no reward, maybe. Yeah, but yeah. I think pretty tough to roll out. Um, the one doesn't pass maybe. the four, though, obviously. I thought he got there for sure. I really did. But so I don't think Shane will pass this up. What do you do, though? Bank the one straight up table and leave the cue ball behind the four. Just straight follow through it, huh? Straight What's high high left kind of. Yeah. The cue ball well, a little bit. Yeah, and the good thing is you got the three down there, right? Yeah. So it's hard. you can double them up on the one three to where – a jump isn't even that great. Just make sure you get the one past the side. Just shoot straight through it is what Joey's saying. And follow the cue ball right down its path, right? As the, long as you don't overcut it, you should be okay, right? He's shooting the one into the four going behind the nine or something like that. Oh, no, he's crossing it. That's going to give up a look. Yeah, so if you overcut it just a hair, it's going to it's gonna leave that look. But I think that that's probably about as bad as you were going to do on that shot. Well, the good thing is he, you notice where he's knocking the one to. Real open side of the table. Not a lot of balls to, to snooker him easily with. So, you know, Dennis is going to have to come with a heck of a shot here to get a guaranteed snooker. It's yeah. not like this is easy, right? I mean, not at all. This is that shot you were talking about. You could go off the left side of it, come one, two, three rails behind the four back where the cue ball is now. Yeah, I don't think that's a bad shot at all. You know, I mean, especially in this situation because – this cut shot, I mean, it's uh, it's not a hanger, obviously, you know, and you've got some traffic with the four. And does the two even pass the seven? I think it does. Okay. So, I mean, you know, the cut shot is very, very, uh, I mean, it's a, it's a difficult shot. So he's kind of in a 50-yard line spot. Like, the cut shot, the bank backup table, but he's probably looking at the cut, I would imagine. I'd probably tell him to cut it. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> if I was thinking, man, if I was, uh, you know, in his yeah. corner, man, I'd say, all right, well, give yeah. it a good look and cut it in. I Go guess. ahead and close your eyes and just stroke it, you know. Like, he's going to make it probably. More than he's going to miss it, I would bet on O'Connor to make it. Totally agree. I say that all the time in this commentary booth that I always want to bet on them players when they take on a tough shot. Yeah. You could lose for a little while at it, you know, because these aren't, like, you know, these aren't hangers. No, they're never guarantees. Watch out for the scratch, too. Oh, That's, you called it. No, I think he got away with it, but oh, barely. Oh, man. It doubled the pocket. Real close. Now the bank's covered up. There's a 2-9 combo. He could cut the two in the corner. He's going to roll him behind the nine here. He's shooting fast. I, I, yeah, I don't know. What else is he going to do here? That's got to be the yeah. one shot. That, yeah. Pretty good shot. That was a good shot. Probably jump bank here. I mean, he was in a more difficult situation than I uh, That might be a little bit too simple, though. I think he'll bank at it. I think. I think. Could play the combo. Oh, a pretty fortunate kiss there. Yeah, it doesn't appear the two passes the five. Or Maybe a has there. a partial park pocket, but. I think it goes. I don't know. This is touchy. That ball wants to go downward, right? So if Of course, you, yeah. Once you make contact. Yeah, it wants, yeah. yeah, that's a hard one to really aim at unless you have a full pocket. Yeah, he's not loving it. Or you're playing on super big pockets, and that's not the case here, ladies and gentlemen. Don't get me wrong. This is not four-inch pocket, but. It's yeah, fairly st going, standard, but it still doesn't play super loose. Yeah, if you go into the rail early, I mean, it's going to it's it's gonna gonna stay hang, up on yeah. you. It's 
especially as bouncy as these rails play. You know, I mean, they react really, right. really quickly. They grab the ball. So I don't know. He may rifle this in straight back. I'll tell you, he might. He's looking at the cut again. Just roll this ball in here to like a half a pocket or three quarters pocket. Yeah, I think okay. so. I said, you're feeling pretty good. If he shoots it hard, I don't like his chances. If he rolls it in, I think he's got a chance. Yeah, he ro yeah. Oh. That was just tough, tough, uh, tough thing to ask yourself to be able to do there. And do you think, I got to think that Dennis knows how, you know, the hit on that ball makes it even tougher. I wish know? I could see That's... a replay on that because it did look like he came out of his fundamentals on that. He just knew he was uncomfortable and he kind of looked like he jumped up pretty bad. Yeah. Just un I mean, that, but I mean, it's an awkward shot, you know, when you're cutting into a, a tight spot, you know what I mean? Wow, that got away. He's too okay. Much. He's got to play safe, but almost got away from him too much for the safety, but. Yeah. And that's a tendency when you're not really in love with what you got to do. That's when you break down the most usually. So say watch the make here. Yeah. Okay. Boy, that ball, he got it really long. All right. Well, he didn't leave him the shot. I think Shane might have been sweating that a little bit. <laughs> Two well, rail, three rail. Dennis seems to, you know, like it's just like regular old 2021. Nothing, no big deal. Seems like Dennis, you know, Shane to me seemed not in a bad way, but maybe a little anxious at, at the beginning, you know, to get started. I could, you know, just knowing him a bit. and But uh, definitely getting more comfortable as it goes along. Um, yeah, I noticed whenever he put he put about two two three packs together, and uh, I really noticed on uh, on both of those three packs that he was really he was really starting to come into form from from the from the out the gate to where he was at now. I mean, his stroke is really starting to look different. Maybe not different, but you know what I mean. Like, yeah, it looks better, much better, more efficient. Well, now they get back out to a two-game lead. So, two-game lead. See if Shane can capitalize on this break. Got out of a little bit of a trap there with the lucky jump leave. Uh, it's so crazy whenever you think about all the little like rolls and little funny things that can happen in a race to 100 that don't really mean a whole lot when you think about it, but they really do. You know? <laughs> like, yeah, and you know like it's a long swing. It's a long term thing, but the you know you think long term it's going to even itself out. But these guys only play a race to you know 100, 120, whatever it is, uh, ever so often. Uh oh, okay. Did okay for that. Yeah, the cue ball is going to get tough on the two though. Can't Man, really. and really tough to move the cue ball with the four there also. Can't cut this ball. I mean, you can, but it's awfully tough. I mean, going. I don't know I mean, what he would there's do. There's no reward. I, I think he's just going to go straight for the bank here. Man, it's hard to move the cue ball on that too. Well, so you get a roll he or left he left a combo, a but combo. not easy. A little off angle, huh? Definitely. Two got a little higher than yeah. the seven. Yeah, like you said, that 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 shot was really difficult to get position on the three. Yeah. Because you got to hit it so deep on the two. It was and pretty you, flat, you yeah, know. Flat, if, yeah. if he's on the off the rail a little bit more, he can maneuver the cue ball a lot easier trying to make the bank. But you'll notice he overcut the bank at just a hair, but to help the cue ball movement get into the three, you know. And it was hard to play safe off the top of it with the four being there as well. So that so was a almost, tough shot. You almost think that maybe it was a better move for him to just go ahead and play safe on that, on that shot. Maybe. 
Yeah. Maybe just maybe go one rail behind the four and just yeah. coast the two up behind the seven, something like that. You know, just float the cue ball between yeah. the four and nine and one rail. Now, you, like when you're not a hundred percent sure, like I mean, that shot was make it tough, ball. right? Yeah, yeah. Is he? I mean, I gotta think he's going for this combo. Yeah. Hit it great. Is he gonna get enough though? Nope. Well, he's probably shooting at this. That Although a couple like of times he's elected some safeties, but. Things like have just been kind of going like a little funny the past like 15, 20 minutes. I've noticed, like you know what I mean. These layouts have been getting a little tougher. Like, cause it didn't they played like like 20 games in like an hour earlier? Yeah, 17. I think it was an hour, but down yeah, a bit. yeah, for sure. Well, that's what I was going to say after this break here. That you know this th these rules and format. It's not they're not brand new. They've been around a couple years or so, a few years. Uh, so you know some things that. You know, generally when the guys are breaking how they want, I think the two ball goes three rails towards the side pocket. And we're getting some of that, but there's been some variations of where the two ball's going and how the balls are breaking, which I like, actually, Joey. Yeah. I like seeing the different situations. But. Oh, of course. Yeah, I think it's awesome. Nobody wants to see somebody break, make the wing ball, get straight on the one every single time. That's you a little I mean? light. That's a little light there. Uh, not not light. saying it's he left it easy, but... He left him a little more opportunity. We'll, we'll know real quick if Shane can make this ball or not. But. Yeah, but he can I kick and stick. He can kick hair. and stick the two down back down table. Just hold the cue ball right there and take your chances. The two coming back towards the three and eight and six and all that, right? That's what he's looking at. Or he's looking at making it. Rail first? Yeah, that's what he's looking at. Ooh, man. Where are you going with the cue ball? Draw forward. You're really going towards the scratch I mean, on that angle. Get enough juice. And get that ball to like get bend to the end rail. Yeah, get, get it to bend just enough. You're gonna have to hit it real, real, real good. But I think it's possible. I really. You do can't put my, much right on it if you wanted to do that. You got to put more straight top. I think it's possible. He just tried to make it and then play from there. You know, he was just figuring if I make it, I can oh, play I safe or yeah. Safety. Yeah, I like that. That was smart. I mean, take make, simplify the two, right? Make sure you're not scratching. You can make it and then play safe from there. That was probably the best percentage. Pretty smart. And that ball is hanging. I mean, deep. All right, he's just got to use his talent here. He's just got to go rail first and coast into position between the three and the four. Is that what you like, going one rail, like uh, going to, uh, just rail first with spin? A little bit of left check, left spin. I mean, not check, but left spin, let it go right towards the eight, coast towards the eight like that. Oh, he came on the thin side. Okay, nothing wrong with that. And that's just purely did not get snookered. He wasn't 100% yeah. if it was going to be the corner or the side. Just guaranteeing yourself a shot, really. Yeah. I mean, making sure you don't run into the three is the only bad thing that can happen. Yeah, getting on good. top of the three is the yeah. only only really bad thing. I mean, he wasn't ever going to scratch. Mm -mm. So. so we're cool if we can clean this up, get to a one-game deficit. Well, one thing I know, uh, Shane, he uh, keeps himself in pretty good shape. And, of course, Okulo plays tons of pool every day and has been for a while. But uh, I'm wondering, you know, these are lo longer races, you know, race to 40, pretty intense. You know, is it, I don't think it will affect Shane, but I'm wondering if day one is the one day that he might be a little bit, uh, get a little bit fatigued towards the end of this race maybe I don't know I he doubt it but you know I mean Dennis has been playing a lot of pool so we all know that he's sharp So I mean, really, when do you think this match actually starts to come into play? Like, when 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 do, when do you think like the 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 halfway mark, the three quarter mark? Like, where do you think well, these guys are going to start stretching out? And they they both want to just shut each other down. I mean, that's what it is. They want to shut the other person out. They're not even. They're not trying to win by the other guy missing them. That's for damn sure. Yeah. One on the side, two balls, running. 
Oh, look good at good. this. He made three balls on the break that time. Very good break. Extremely good break to tie it up. This is to tie it up, correct? Yeah, that's right. So pretty simple here. I mean, just float to the middle of the table, take what you get on the floor, get on down the road. Yeah, broke the balls and got a nice little kiss on the two balls. Really made the rack pretty simple overall. Come around the nine for the same pocket. And this should make it 22 22. Now, the guys, the players, like we talked about before, they have a tablet to keep the score with. So we're not, not going to let it get away, that's for sure. But Yeah, we know the score. 22 22. And. Uh, what a break by Rocolo. Wow. That would be hard to fade if you had to see that all day. But that's what's interesting, like you said, the variance of the break. I mean, it's been some really, really difficult looks. Uh, and uh, then randomly, bam, you know, guy makes three balls and he's tic-tac-toe, everything leading to each other. So I think that kind of adds to the excitement of the game. For, for this for this format anyways Nice break by Dennis. Beautiful break. Golly. That's going to be dangerous if that's the if that's going to be the case for a while. Yeah, and I was watching kind of before. Uh, he's still making the corner ball, making the one occasionally, but not all the time, and seems to be making another ball when he's not making the one. What kind of an adjustment do you think he made right there? Because I'm earlier he was making the wing ball pretty often and the missing the one ball a lot. You know, I, I'm not sure he's he's spinning the ball more, so he's going to get some different hits. They're so, be a less yeah, seems hit. like though, man. I'll tell you what, if you're making the corner ball a lot, I mean that's just a a, a great thing to rely on and try and figure out something from there to get another ball down or get a legal break. Um, yeah, that's the only thing I see with Dennis more of. It's not so much making the balls; he'll make a ball, but. What are the outcomes going to be? And there's that oh, you know, you're talking about the table just seems like it might go a hair on the downward. And I'll tell you where you really notice it, uh, Joey, is when it's going back up in that area, it seems slow. Oh, okay. Yeah, that was not a hanger. <laughs> he had to put a little extra focus on that one. Absolutely. <laughs> had a lot of work there. Now taking another lead at 23-22, correct? Yeah. I mean, it's definitely a heavyweight battle.
All right, we're going to let Billy Guy and Mark Gonzalez in for a few minutes to entertain y'all. We'll be back shortly. All right, guys, this is Mark Gonzalez and Billy Guy here in the booth. How's it going, Billy? How is it going? It's been a great match so far. Yes, it has. Guys, so we went Facebook Live. We, we want to explain what happened. We know that a lot of you guys are having issues and trouble. We did not. Um, the issue with us is, is with our, our host. Um, their server, see, we, we had way more than expected people hitting the site. And for that, we thank you guys. But, um, again, it's caused a, a little bit of a problem on the server side. So, we are in contact with them already. We are trying to get this fixed as soon as possible. For those of you guys who um, have not been able to get in, we wanted to bring you guys this match just so you can watch it. We're going to keep Facebook Live going until we get this issue resolved. For those of you who had the stream and weren't having any issues with it, we thank you guys for you know, stepping up and, and helping us out on the chat, saying you guys aren't having issues, but we know a lot of you are. So, Billy, we just wanted to put this out and, and bring the match to you guys so everybody can watch it for now. Absolutely, man, and it's going to be a it's going to be a great match. And you know what? If it if it happens for the rest of the night, which I'm I'm sure it's going to it's going to take a minute for them to to resolve the issue. But by morning, we're we're hoping that it's going to go ahead and be taken care of. So we'll be back on track tomorrow. So if uh, if you have any issues or whatever, you can contact us at Rackham.tv. You can message us. Yeah, please send us a message to our Facebook page, guys. Um, commenting on posts we we don't see those as quick so please send us a message through facebook and we will help uh we will help everybody out just as fast as we possibly can so again thank you guys uh we're gonna try to we're gonna get these expert commentators back in here to uh to do this for you guys and um uh, please enjoy the match and, and like i said as soon as we get this issue resolved we will be back in touch with you guys all right billy let's get let's get these commentators back in here they 
They stepped away for just a second. But they did, but I just want to look at this score. We're at 23 games apiece. Yeah. I mean, this is locked down. Yes, it is. Action this, right now. This is exactly what we thought it was going to be, Billy. It's it's neck to neck, and I think this thing's going to go down all the way to Sunday just like this. We do. We got two more days of this. Tomorrow morning at 11 o'clock, we're going to be in here with uh, the, the Texas All-Stars and the Oklahoma All-Stars, so it is, uh, it's about to get down. Yes, it is. Well, Doug, it's not an internet issue. The internet, we, we have plenty of, of bandwidth. We have plenty of uh, speed here, pr plenty of upload and download speed. It's The issue we're having is with our back-end server. It's, it's, with, the, with, it's with, Go with our host. Yeah, so we're working frantically with them. Yeah, we appreciate you guys tuning in, and, and we know you guys support us, and, and we want you all to know we support you guys too. So. We appreciate all the guys out there. S, uh, that, go ahead. S, uh, we, you know, you paid $40 for this incredible weekend match, and we're going to get this issue resolved as soon as possible. We're not going to be Facebook Live um, once we get the issue resolved. So um, just stick with us. And, guys, just so you all know, this will be uh, up at the top of the uh, web page. If you go into archived footage, uh, all of this will be under archive. Uh, Danny, you can contact us. Uh, you can uh, reach us at nelson at rackhamtv.com or support at rackhamtv.com. Uh, you can send an email to either one of those and, and somebody will get with you just as soon as possible. So yeah, just so you guys know, once again, this is not an internet issue here. Um, it's not an internet issue for us at all. It's a GoDaddy issue. Their server is down. Again, we're working frantically with them as, as fast as we can to get this, get this resolved for you guys. So, all right, well, Shane just took the lead. 24 to 23. Yes, that is 11 o'clock Central Time tomorrow. Man, Shane Snap, his break has been amazing tonight. Man, he puts the one ball goes in the side every time. Yes, it does. We were talking about that earlier before the match when he was just practicing up. So, all right, guys, I'm gonna step out. I'm gonna let Billy uh, uh, sit here with you guys for a minute, and he's gonna be joined by Jeremy Jones. So here we go. How you doing, Jeremy? Good. Real good. Uh, we we're just talking. Uh, Shane just took the lead by one game. Uh, jumped up there, break one in the side, like clockwork. Yeah, and they're getting some differences, you know, variations on the runout. So I like that. And, and here's another one of them. He's got to play some tight position on the five. I think he can come one real cross in between the seven and nine. Looks like to me. I kind of put his hand in the air, but I think if he looks at it more, I think he really liked coming across like this. Yeah. Now he's going to have a little tight position again or take on a little tougher shot in the corner. Yeah. Yeah, match is going good so far. I think Billy. Uh, it's been a very, uh, very tight match. You know, there hadn't been too much of a lead gap between the both of them. Uh, no. Well, maybe three or four games at the beginning with Dennis. A couple times he had four game lead, uh, four nothing, and then ten to six, I think it was. And I think all right, that's got to go a little bit. He needs a little. He bump got, and there. He got it. He, yeah. Uh, I think actually Shane, you know, I stepped away, for, ate a little bit, uh, watched from a distance. It looked like to me Shane 
grabbed maybe even a bigger than four game lead, something like 20 to 15, I think it was. Right. Uh, but yeah, tight match. Well, I think this is everything that we dreamed of in this match, or that, that most of us thought it was going to be. Well, like I talked about at the beginning, you talk about you know some friendly wagers around on this match, and there's many of them. Uh, you know, if you get to bet even, playing, uh, and you're betting on Orkulo or or Shane, you got to feel pretty good, no matter who they're playing. Yeah. Both of them are that great. Now they're playing each other this time, so <laughs> right. it's a little more of a toss-up. Some people think, I mean, a little more of a, a an edge one way or another because they do have a little history. U.S. Open finals, you know, I think two of them uh, we talked about earlier that Shane beat Dennis in the final, I believe. Right. Um, along with some other matches that were similar to this where, where Shane was uh, the victor. Now he... He's been breaking from this side pretty much the whole match. He started from the other side. Okay. Yeah, and the one on the side at the same time. Really nice starter on the three that leads right towards the towards the five, Billy. Yeah. But don't you think he gets more power into the rack with the cut than Dennis does, it seems like to me? You know, I've been watching him for the past two days uh, up here and 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 his break, you know, the snap. It's just that snap, and when it comes off, it seems like when he breaks from that side, that, that one just goes every time. He's really got it, you know, figured out. Well, he's feeling pretty good. Did you see how he played that ball with a high, and not really inside, but just a real, you know, aggressive follow-through stroke, trying to hold that line going to the six. He made it look real simple, but right. that ball was a little off angle, that five ball was. Most people would have either held it and taken a longer shot on the six or kind of maybe drew it to the side rail and over. And right. See some rhythm here from Shane in game number 49. I should just chip this in the side. He usually goes for the side in this, in this spot. Yeah, he made some pretty quick work with that rack there too. Yeah, now a three-game lead. Twenty-five, twenty-three. This is Billy Guy with Rackham TV in the booth with Jeremy Jones, and we uh, we got Sky that's about to step on in. I apologize. Sky's going to be back in a couple of minutes. So here we go with Shane. Yeah, watch this one travel toward the side pocket. Yeah. Just again, we're getting a lot of differences on the two ball, but he got us. He got a look at it. Is it going to open up for the corner? I think it did. I think it did, Billy. Now it's a tight one going by the three, I think. But well, I think he's got it in the side too. He might pass the four if he doesn't he have it all the way maybe down. Maybe he has it in the side. The four is close on that one. Yeah. So he's got to almost aim at the three ball to make the two in the side, like directly at the three, and almost. Now he's just going to roll him up on the three. He's taking no chances. Oh no, he's cutting it in the side. That's got to have some spin. Well, that's a hell of a shot. Yeah. He, he's made, gonna that have look, to, he, he yeah. made that look easy, He though. did, yeah, and he's going to have to travel past this four and come back up, too. Probably. Unless he feels like he can get to the side rail. He, I, you don't think him to – you wouldn't think him to play the four in the side from here. I like your shot stunning down and back up. Yeah. He could even put a little inside if he wanted, but watch out. Don't let it get going on you. Yeah. All right, guys, uh, Sky's coming in the booth. Uh, do appreciate you guys. I'll be uh, seeing you in a Okay, nice you kill soon. stroke there. Yeah, we'll see you, Billy. Yeah, 
and Shane seems to have really uh, captured the speed of the table. I'm not saying Dennis hadn't. It just seemed like Dennis was really had it down for right from the beginning. Shane Van Boning back and now to a four game lead 27 23 after 50 games uh, pretty close and back in the booth Skyler Woodward hey Sky yo what up well what do you think I know you've been watching it well you know I sat I was sitting over there again um, I mean like I mean the lead change I think it's gonna go back and forth it's been going back and forth I uh, like I said earlier um, they're both breaking pretty good, uh, playing good. Yeah, they're I, both I, playing I, great. I think it's like. not going to go. I don't think it's going to go uh, for a while. I think nobody's going to get up ten. Yeah. It'll be for a while, but uh, I believe towards more towards. Uh, I think day, day two three, somebody. Day two. Day two. Middle of day two, somebody might get up ten, but I don't think it'll stay up ten. Oh, we lost the cue ball a little bit more that time. Well, now, just hit the bottom of the nine. Yeah. And I was telling, uh, I was saying that it, you know, they're seems like they're breaking really good, but they're getting a lot of differences on the two ball lot. You know, a lot of variations of the two ball, which I kind of yeah. like. Uh, it's for as a spectator, it's kind of fun to see that. You know, I don't like it. No, I know, I, well, I know as the breaker, you I guys know. are trying to dress the two uh, two up in front of the side, of course. But you know, it doesn't take much to get something off, right? So with this break, real tough rollout situation here. Like always, when these guys have to roll out. Now, he may be able to see a piece of this. He's going to roll out yeah. an inch. Maybe two inches. Not much. Oh, he Or went, six. He went a lot more than I thought. Four, five. Yeah. <laughs> Chip said Dennis looks like a, a little kid out there with his hat. Yeah, he he's. <laughs> I, I haven't seen him in a while, but I saw him a couple of weeks ago in Peoria, and he played like that. And there were some comments about it. And. I don't know if he, you know, I heard he was playing really well in these challenge matches in different places, and maybe he got rolling with the hat sideways and just stuck with it, you know? Yeah, yeah, maybe. But, you know, every time I've ever seen him wear a hat, he wears it like that. You know, we said earlier, you know, there ain't been very many pushes that that uh, uh, Dennis has really taken on that, that Shane's pushed out to. He's given back like almost all of them. Well, there's a lot, he's got to hit between the five and nine here, I think, to do any good. So this is tough. But you know, Shane. Like that. Shane's so good at it, though. It's amazing how you, good he is. You know, Shane, uh, you know, from playing doubles with him, World Cup of Pool and stuff, and the push outs, he says, there's a lot of pushes he, he really looks at that you're like, Dude, what the heck did you just do? I mean, where'd you push to? So you're kind of like, all right, I'll give it back. Right. It's like, it's kind of weird. He pushes but, out tough. But there was a few, like, a couple jump shots with that he did tonight that I really thought Dennis, like, Dennis would have took. Yeah, shot, yeah. yeah, yeah, right. Especially, maybe he's not feeling comfortable with his jump shots, though. Maybe, maybe. maybe. Normally, he's, 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 not, he's not, he won't hesitate to pull the trigger on a jump shot normally. As speaking of which, might be one right here. Now he's got an open corner uh, to the upper right. If he wanted to do something cutting it to the left, he could go into the nine with the cue ball. Remember, we're playing nine ball. You get that yellow and white one rolling around, you never know. Okay, he went back to his full cue. So he's going to try and maybe cut the two and go at the nine, something like that, with the cue ball. Look at it's this a hair shot. short. One pocket shot, playing both towards your pocket. Tell you what, he's left it tough, though. Yeah, does it go? It's just a little snug if it does go. 
But as we see, I mean, I know me and you haven't been here in a while. Like, we mean you haven't talked in a minute. But uh, like you were saying earlier, I mean, Shane has started looking a little more comfortable the further we've gotten along or like in the match here. Oh, yeah. Very much. Yeah, very uh, much. It did and, go. And that's the other thing is taking on the next shot. Like, of course, he didn't want to be on the rail, but he wanted to ice that first ball, you know? Yeah, yeah, for sure. So now he's natural to go back and forth. He's got a little bit of room. He could ticky off the nine some kind of way and still make this ball. Key to this shot is don't let up on it. Go ahead and go back and forth with the cue ball. Make the ball more often that way. Oh, he almost went off that nine. Now, did he play oh. safe? I don't think so. Big miss there. Up 27 to 23. Yeah, so Dennis caught up. Shane got away again. Uh, you like coming two rails here uh, for the five in the lower right, or just I like to come one well, rail up I, if I can. I think kind of one rail, but I think you just bear, well, yeah, I guess so. I was thinking maybe catch right before the side pocket or something. Right with the second at, rail at the diamond, yeah. Uh, just to make sure I get I get like. I feel like I'm coming into the angle more, into the right spot. Yeah, for sure. Now Dennis with a pretty routine seven, eight, nine. He'll pull the cue ball out to the center of the table. Just has to draw the cue ball back a little bit. He might be going forward, I don't know. The nine's hanging over the corner, though. Nothing extra special here. Well, there you go, 27-24 now. That'll be adjusted momentarily. And just got the report that we're going to give the, they're going to do the Facebook Live for probably about another 30 minutes, but the GoDaddy uh, support has uh, fixed the Internet issue, so they're going to be going back to Rackham.tv here, in, like I said, in about 30 minutes. So if you wanted to continue watching the match at that point, uh, make your way over there. Dennis is getting, he's making the corner ball a lot, though. And you got one, two, three, three kisses on the one and ended up really nice here. He'd like to come into the four here and play the two in the side if he could, probably. Doesn't have to, though. He can get shape on the three to drop on a pretty easy four eight or drop on the back side of the four. But if it was real comfortable here, you go in and you just lightly bump the four up about four, three or four inches, something like that. Yeah, leaves you automatic shape on the two, really, Yeah, too. yeah, and it's a real easy shot from there, in my opinion. Now, like I said, he doesn't have to because the three's in such a good position, and always the four eight ain't too tough, right? Right, 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 yeah. And last resort, kind of. But he got a little hairy here. He's got to go forward with the cue ball a little to come back to get the good angle on the three, right? Yeah, yeah. You you said something about him making always making the wing ball. Yeah, how's he do that? He he he's over it, he right? overcuts it a hair, yeah, and puts a lot of spin on it. He's short on this ball. 
Is he really? To play, no, I'm saying to play for the, like just a four by itself. I mean, nah, you can play he can for the there. combo. Look at our side screen. We'll change it there for you. He barely got there where he could cheat the pocket and stun down. Didn't he? Yeah, I mean, I guess, yeah, he could stun down. Yeah. He'll, I might go ahead from here, though, being that straight. I might just go ahead and follow back out. Oh, really? What? Well, no, I'm talking about for the four. Just for the four, not the cube, not the, not the, uh, not the combo. See? Oh, oh, okay. oh, okay. Yeah, he had enough angle. He, he, he was almost short, but that's a fast table out there, Sky. It's gonna be interesting to see how tomorrow goes. You can't let Texas people down. You know what I mean? Well, you know I'm new to Texas. Yeah, well you'll be, you'll be. New and booted out if you let us down. You know? <laughs> New and booted out. I just got here. Now I'm going to get booted out of Texas real quick. <laughs> Short stint in the Lone Star State. Well, if you're just joining us, this is going uh, – it's a race to 40 here in day one. Day two, the same. First to 80, I believe. And then uh, finish on Sunday to 120. 